Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install NordVPN on any Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Now, after installing NordVPN, I'm going to show you some of these specialty servers, some settings, and just a bonus setup guide after setting up NordVPN. Now, NordVPN is one of the most popular VPNs available, but guys, I'm going to show you my favorite alternative to NordVPN, so I suggest you stick around for the entire video. All right, so the first step to installing NordVPN on any Amazon Fire Stick is we need to install the application from the Amazon App Store. So to do that, hover over Find from the home screen, click Search, and I'm going to enter in Nord. And then once I enter in Nord, you should see an option that pops up for NordVPN. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then you should see NordVPN under Apps and Games. Make sure you click the NordVPN application. And then you're going to click download. And then you're going to have to wait a few seconds while NordVPN downloads on your Fire Stick. All right, after the NordVPN application has installed on your Fire Stick, click the home button on your remote. And then I'm going to come over and click this applications icon here. I'm going to click that. And this is going to take you to the apps and channels list. And when I scroll down, I should now see NordVPN in my apps and channels. I'm going to hit the options button on my remote with the three lines. And I'm going to click move to front. That way Nord is towards the front of my applications list. I'm going to click the home button again on my remote. And here is NordVPN right here towards the front of my apps list. I'm going to click NordVPN to launch it. Give it a few seconds here to boot up for the very first time. And after NordVPN has booted up, you will be presented on this screen. So you'll see the options on the left with servers, you know, MeshNet, settings, and all these other factors of NordVPN. But right up here, you'll get two options, whether to sign up or click log in. Now, since I do have a paid NordVPN account for the purposes of this video, I am going to click log in. If you do not have a NordVPN account, you can simply go to the NordVPN website and it will prompt you to sign up for an account on their homepage. So once I click log in, there are various ways you can log in if you already have a NordVPN account. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log in with my email and password. So I'm going to click log in manually. And guys, I'm going to enter my email and password for my NordVPN account and I'm going to fast forward after I am logged in. All right, so after I've signed in with my NordVPN email and password, I will now be presented on the screen. You'll see up top it says VPN not connected. So one nice thing about Nord is right here it has a connect now. I'm just going to go ahead and click that so I am connected. And you're going to get a connection request just like any VPN when first setting up. So I'm going to click OK. And as it says connecting, and NordVPN will now be connected as I am on a United States server. It says this is the fastest server. If I scroll down within the NordVPN application, the first thing you will see are all these different servers. So they have servers in the UK, Canada, Germany, France, and many other countries, as you'll see here as I'm scrolling along their country list. So one factor that separates NordVPN from its competition in the VPN space are these specialty servers. As you'll see here, I am on P2P, Onion Over VPN, Obfuscated, and Double VPN. Now I won't go in detail of what all of these mean as I, there is a special link that NordVPN has that describes all this. I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. But like double VPN, for example, guys, is that instead of one server, your internet traffic is sent through two servers. So this would encrypt your data and disguise your personal IP address not once, but twice. So I'm going to go ahead and actually connect to the double VPN. Um, and now I'm going to do that. And again, I will leave a link in the video description that explains all of these. But this is kind of a separating factor of Nord between others are these specialty servers. So then we have what's called MeshNet. Now MeshNet is just a type of virtual network that allows multiple devices to connect and communicate with one another directly, You know, even if they're located in different parts of the world. So MeshNet makes it possible for people to access resources and services on others' devices, both for personal and business use. Just another unique factor that separates Nord from others is MeshNet. So you'll see all the other settings down below here. It says my subscription settings, auto connect. Now most VPNs do have auto connect. Most VPNs also have split tunneling as well. There's an activity log if you're curious to view that. 
But if I go into the Nord VPN settings, let's talk about a few of these. So threat protection light. Threat protection light is useful. This is similar to Surfshark VPN's clean web feature. I know ExpressVPN also has something similar on their Fire Stick app, but essentially this will protect you, as it says here, from cyber threats from blocking malicious websites. I'm not gonna enable it in this example, but just a cool feature. Now, another cool feature about you know, NordVPN is their custom Nord Links protocol. Similar to Express, this is NordVPN's custom engineered protocol called Nordlinks. And this is, you know, supposed to be their fastest protocol. So I'm going to go ahead and select Nordlinks. And it's going to make me reconnect. Um, but guys, I always want to use, you know, what's deemed the best protocol on a given VPN service. So make sure you're always on the best protocol. Um, local network discovery, I'm going to turn leave this on. Uh, DNS, just leave this to default. Um, and then just some other items here as well. But if I scroll back into NordVPN and the main menu here, Guys, one thing that I do not like about NordVPN, actually two things now that I'm seeing it, is there is no working kill switch on their Fire Stick application. I, I was diggling through the settings here, and within settings, there's no kill switch. Scrolling around, no kill switch. So they do not have a working kill switch on a Fire Stick application. That is a big deal to me. Surfshark VPN does have that. Uh, Express VPN does have that as well. So then that's a big factor in my opinion. Guys, the other thing I do not like about NordVPN is the user interface of their Fire Stick application. It just looks very clunky in my opinion, and it almost seems like it's a stock Android application if you've used those before on stock Android devices. It just seems very clunky. Um, it's not very nice to use, in my opinion. Um, there are VPNs with better applications available, Surfshark being one of them. Um, IP Vanish also has a better Fire Stick application as well, I must say. Um, so guys, another downside is I do not like the interface of the Nord VPN Fire Stick application. So now I'm going to run a quick speed test. Again, I'm going to make sure that I am on the Nord Links protocol. So you'll see here I'm on Nord Links and I'm also going to connect to a US server. So I'm going to click United States and then it's gonna connect me to a United States server. I'm gonna click the home button on my remote and I'm gonna launch Analyti Speed Test. Now, Analyti Speed Test is a free speed test application you can find in the Amazon App Store. And then it's going to start pinging my speeds in the background. Now guys, I have an entire video where I compare the most popular VPN speeds up against each other. And I'll leave a link to that in the video description for you to take a look and see which VPN is the fastest that I tested. But as this is pinging speeds in the background, I am impressed with these speeds of NordVPN. 86 megabits per second down is a very high quality download speed. 106 megabits per second up is also a very high quality upload speed. Now you'll see at the bottom here what these speeds can do. You'll see I can stream 8K video, 4K gaming, 1080p, et cetera, et cetera, as 86 megabits per second down is a high quality download speed, guys. You will not, having more than 86 megabits per second down almost is overkill for general internet use. Now, if you're streaming 8K movies, then yes, having these high internet speeds is applicable and will make a difference. So guys, that's NordVPN in a nutshell. But guys, our number one recommended VPN provider is Surfshark VPN. And this is my favorite alternative to NordVPN. Now, if you're unaware, Nord Security actually owns both Surfshark VPN and NordVPN. So both VPNs are owned by the same parent company, which I do like. Um, Surfshark, the reason I like Surfshark better than NordVPN is they do have a working kill switch. You'll see right here they have a working kill switch in the Fire Stick application. Guys, another reason why I prefer Surfshark is that they do have a better Fire Stick application. You'll see just scrolling through here, the difference of using this on a Fire Stick versus the clunky application for NordVPN. And then Surfshark VPN also has some other protocols to choose from. If I click protocol, they have the WireGuard protocol, which I do really like the WireGuard protocol. It's been very fast. And you can see in my previous videos, the types of speeds that I am getting with WireGuard. They also have IKEV2. NordVPN does not have that on a Fire Stick, but both VPNs do carry the OpenVPN protocol. And guys, if I scroll back, 
Surfshark VPN, again, also has a clean web feature. If I click features, you'll see clean web here. Now, NordVPN has a similar functionality, but I prefer the clean web features. I've seen success with that blocking ads and malwares on various websites. But that's it, guys. That is how to install NordVPN on any Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Again, this is Bodie with IPTV Wire. Appreciate you all watching this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below. Make sure to let me know if you guys use NordVPN in the comments. And guys, I look forward to creating more content like this in the near future.